Hello and welcome back and I'm heading to the bushcraft shelter. I've done my uh, long loop back in as I said in my previous video that's to help avoid detection and it's more like autumn than late summer and everything is wet so you know I don't want to be leaving too many tracks where I'm going but I'm here today to try and get more done to those walls and um, I probably won't finish, I probably don't have enough cordage, but as this shelter is beginning to drag on and take more of my time, I really got to start thinking about putting a, a bit of time to it to get it completed. I know a lot of um, bushcraft shelters, you'll see it being built in the space of 20 minutes on YouTube, but I really don't have the hours and hours and hours to put to it in one go. Um, I do have my other bushcraft shelter. I do know that's still in good serviceable condition. So I may actually do an overnighter in that one while I'm still constructing this one. But we'll have to see. I need to start putting my tools down. I've traveled in light. I haven't brought much because the main aim here isn't really to enjoy the surroundings. It is really just to carry on building. Right, you can see where we've got to so far. And I've just started on these walls. And the bits that were too short I had left over, I'm just putting as the windbreak on that side. So it's quite evident that I've got a long way to go. So yeah, I've got to go back into the woodland retracing my steps and I've got to select some standing dead or stuff that's already on the floor, which I can build those walls with. So let's get straight to it, no messing.
Right, we've got some more material we can start building with. Um, it's not fantastic because I've tried to get pretty close. And as I always say, you look it out there and you think there's got to be hundreds of standing dead and stuff that you can use. But strangely, when you're building a structure, you start to get a little bit picky. So we've been able to complete that wall there and I've pretty much got the porch done. I've got a, probably a few um, logs to go there, but I've got to trim these off at the moment. But um, yeah, I'm out of cordage and yet again, this has taken several hours of my life, believe it or not. So um, yeah, I'm going to get this tidied up and then start packing up to get out of here. Now I'm looking at this bushcraft shelter and it's definitely bigger and more substantial than I possibly planned and that's borne out by the amount of material I've had to source and use. Um, it's going to be fantastic when it's finished but I can see I've got possibly another two or three expeditions into this woodland to get all the um, sides framed in before I can start putting the moss on and waterproofing it. So there's still a lot of work to do yet, but you can just about begin to see what it's going to look like. 
and there you go guys you can just about visualize what we're going to have uh, just think of that covered in moss um yeah it's definitely bigger inside than than it looks on film it's it is definitely it's definitely beyond what you would classify as a survival shelter size wise now so when this is completed i can already see and feel this is going to be a really nice autumn winter um, bushcraft location once i've got this established my plan is to do a lot more in uh, in the field of bushcraft trying to make some forest furniture and things like that and and utilize this as a bush camp um but i'm still in the building stages so it's all sort of like uh, talk at the moment but i think we can all agree you can see where this is going i would say there's definitely room for three people possibly four to uh sleep inside that fr um the a-frame piece it is really large but in any case i'm going to start heading off out of here um i've got to do my big circular quite simply because like i said i'm trying to avoid detection but um yeah thanks for coming along um it is a slow process and like i always say i'm documenting this on film for myself more than youtube really um prosperity and all that so you know if you do stick with the complete build process thanks very much if you tune out and want to wait till it's uh, complete and you see me using it as a bush camp i fully understand that but um yeah i'm probably going to film it in smaller and smaller bite-sized pieces because pretty much you can see what i've got to do there now and how i'm going about it when i get to the point i'm doing that back wall the apex wall building that up and putting the moss on i will start filming again in more substantial chunks so yeah thanks for coming along and uh take care stay safe and i hope to catch you guys out on the trail